Hi, my name is Jennifer Simeon and I'm the owner of my Just In Care Production. Jennifer Simeon and I'm the owner of Niger Skincare Production. So Niger Skincare Production is a company, a private company in Nigeria that focuses on skin lightening and dark spot removal for ethnic skin. We are more about lightening your skin in a healthy and safe way. Today we want to talk about one chemical that we use in producing our skincare products. Is a very popular chemical which most people use in organic skincare production and that would be kojic acid yes a lot of people use kojic acid in their manufacturing but most people who are using this kojic acid don't know what to look out for when choosing a kojic product now what is kojic acid kojic acid is a skin lightening herb that is manufactured through fermentation, especially fermentation of mushrooms or rice. Kojic acid is actually a fungi that lightens the skin. So in as much as kojic acid is very safe and very good for skin, it has its own advantages and disadvantages. And while it may be natural, it may or may not suit your skin type. Now there is no set way to know if kojic acid will be good for you or not unless you try it out. So before you can say our oh, kojic is good for me or kojic isn't good for me the first thing you will do is try it out. But we always advise if you have never used a kojic acid product before and you don't know how it will react on your skin it will be better you test it on a small part of your body to look out for skin reaction. Now, who needs kojic acid? Anyone who wants to brighten up their skin, anyone who is battling with hyperpigmentation, anyone who has uneven skin tone and wants to blend it out the natural way, and also anyone who has had sun exposure and has been darkened by the sun. So if in any way you want to brighten your skin or you want to take out dark marks, kojic acid is one product that you need to give a trial. Now you may want to know what are the side effects of kojic acid. So over the years, one real side effect of kojic acid that I have noticed, it, it can leave white dots on the skin. So you may be using kojic acid product and you notice that you are beginning to have white dots on your skin. You know those aging dots that we see on older people's skin? Yes, kojic acid can cause that on some people's skin. On rare occasions, we also have um, rashes. Some people developing rashes in certain areas, like on their creases. Okay, that's another reaction we have seen from kojic acid over the years. Now there are ways to get around this but of course I know it will make you feel like alarmed the first time you notice such a thing. Don't give up on kojic acid yet. There's a way to go around this side effect. Now before we move on to how you can treat these reactions or how you can prevent these reactions from kojic acid, you would want to know which particular actives will work best with kojic acid. Kojic acid on its own is wonderful, but it is really slow, the result. All right, so you would want to pair it with other actives to enhance its um, usefulness or to enhance its, uh, how do I put it, to enhance its effects on the skin. So the first active I advise people to use in their production is ascorbic acid. Yes, any form of vitamin C would work really well when paired with kojic acid. 
but ascorbic acid has been known to work even more or even much better than other forms of vitamin C. So using ascorbic acid together with your kojic acid would boost the effect of the kojic. The next active that works really, really well with kojic is alpha abutin. Yes, alpha abutin works so well with kojic acid. But if you react with alpha abutin, then you may want to go with hydroquinone for those who prefer hydroquinone in their product. If you're looking for the natural alternative to hydroquinone, then that would be alpha abutin. But if you prefer hydroquinone, then you can use hydroquinone with the kojic acid and the result will be awesome. Also note that this should have a certain percentage that you shouldn't go above. And if you go beyond, it may not be effective. The next active that works really well with kojic acid Hmm. That would be the retinol. Retinol in kojic acid makes it super, super effective. But if you don't want to go for retinol, you can actually switch to vitamin A. Vitamin A with the kojic acid gives it a unique effect on the skin. So vitamin A or retinol, vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid, or alpha abutin or hydroquinone. These actives make your kojic acid excellent in its performance. So now that we know all this about kojic acid, and we really love to use it in our production, how do we stop these reactions that come from kojic acid use, especially the white dots? Now, the first route that most people will want to go to is the use of corticosteroids. But remember, steroids may be good, but long term, they have very huge adverse effects. So most of us tend to shy away from the use of steroids in our production. Personally, I hate to use it. If you have any reaction that I think you need steroid to heal it up, I advise you to buy the steroid yourself, use it for the period of time that it is meant to be used and then stop. I would not add steroid into any of my production for any reason. Now, what's the next option besides steroids? Sulfur. Yes. So sometimes you may see some bit of particles in our production. That's because we add sulfur for its anti-reaction purpose. So a little bit of sulfur added to your kojic acid production will reduce these reactions that are usually caused by kojic. Also neem, neem extract has been known to reduce every form of reaction from kojic acid. So if you add neem extract into your production or you use neem on the side while using your kojic product, you would realize that those reactions that come with kojic acid would reduce drastically until they are totally cleared off. The last but not the least is the use of deep moisturizing, especially shea butter. Shea butter is very, very useful when it comes to clearing reaction that is caused by kojic acid. So if you apply shea butter after your kojic product, it will reduce the chances of reaction. The best kojic acid formulations are those that do not exceed 3% kojic acid and are not below 2% of kojic acid. 1% kojic acid will work fine in an alkaline product, but when the product becomes acidic up to the nature of the skin, the acidic nature of the skin, then you would want to up the kojic acid to 25 to 3% of kojic acid. Now, when you exceed 3%, there's more likelihood for you to experience the reaction from kojic acid. In kojic acid, more is not more. Adding 5 to 8% kojic acid doesn't make your product more effective. It only makes it um, irri an irritant, makes it to become an irritant to the skin. So it is better you stick to the 3% of kojic acid. 
when formulating try not to use spoon or cup measurement you would not get the proper percentage use your scale and your percentage measurement for proper measuring or proper percentage counting the best product to use with kojic acid is usually alkaline product all right either alkaline or um, a high ph product but then how long can you leave an alkaline product <coughs> in your skin sorry how long do you leave an alkaline product in your skin it's very dangerous to leave something that is alkaline on your skin for a long time because the skin natural nature balance the natural ph of the skin is almost acidic it's between 5.5 5 to 5.5 in the ph scale okay so you would always want your product to be within that scale also take note that there are two different types in fact there are three different types of kojic in the market right now but two of them are really popular which are the kojic acid and the kojic depalmitate now the kojic acid is the one that can be solubilized with water and the kojic depalmitate is the oil soluble kojic in this video we are talking about the water soluble kojic which is the kojic acid you can also use the kojic depalmitate why most people go for the kojic depalmitate is because kojic acid oxidizes fast it oxidizes really fast and may spoil your formulation by changing color to dark orange so that's yes so sorry i had to cut the video short the i needed to rush acid, down somewhere and i was really really short of time so um thank you for color. watching the video and there are actually the some products we have that contain kojic acid this is a uh, kojic seven days kojic rapid lightning and the moroccan complexion so this can be purchased via our website at www.africanorigin.com.ng we deliver nationwide worldwide using dhl services thank you once again and remain blessed